Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. I, I will it. commit all of my resources to killing you dead. Out of mana and out of ideas. Yeah, my God, he's got so many things. He's fitted, dude. Yeah, he's dripping. If you really want to support I Hate Your Deck, there's a lot of ways to help support us. Number one way is through Patreon. Patreon is a great place where you get to join our community. We have a Discord where we play a lot of magic with our friends. And there's such a community of people from around the world in our Discord. So if you want access to our deck list, do you want to play magic with a lot of people from all over the world and interact or help brew your decks? The I Hate Your Deck Discord through Patreon will help you get all that done. Hey, if you've been liking I Hate Your Deck, hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we have new episodes coming out. And we also have bonus episodes. If you want to see those bonus episodes that were too hot for YouTube, join our Patreon to check that out. Before we start our game, we need to show our sponsors some love. Here's our sponsor, and our show will continue right after, so stick with us. This episode is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark VPN, or Virtual Private Network, is a game changer. For someone like me, who travels out of the country frequently for work, I I want to be able to access my apps, programs, or bank accounts. Many countries do not have access or allow certain apps that are regularly available at home on my network. Having Surfshark allows me to be able to access apps such as Disney+, Netflix, Hulu, etc. You can imagine how frustrating it is when traveling and you have no access. Not only is Surfshark safe, it is also encrypted. Your data is not stored with Surfshark, therefore it keeps your info safe and private, even if you are using a public cafe Wi-Fi. When out of the country, you can connect to a server in the US, Canada, or switch to other servers easily. I watch really popular shows like Mandalorian or House of Dragons. Sometimes I'm gone for a month and I'll miss like four episodes. Often people spoil my favorite shows online, which can be hard to avoid. I like to watch episodes the day they drop so I can chat with my friends and not get spoiled. Surfshark has a 24 seven support and a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk in giving it a try. Click on my link below to get 85% off. And if you get 24 months, you'll get three extra months for free. So by 24, get 27. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. We want to give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. What's up, everyone? It's Lynch at I Hate Your Deck. We are back for some revenge of Magic the Gathering <laughs> wizards doing wizardly spicy spells. And with that spice, I'm going to enjoy playing paper magic with all of them. Hey guys, it's David back again for the God knows how many time. And I'm just here playing paper magic with my friends, which I love doing. Dave. What's up guys? It's me, Larry. Stoked to be back. You're not gonna win this game. <laughs> that was you so that. out We're of pocket. We're gonna be friends. <laughs> that was so right out, out of pocket. pocket. Turn zero snake time, huh? <laughs> that was... Oh boy. A little backstory, there is a rule zero non-aggression pack between myself and David. He's still not gonna win this game. Call it a threat. So Call it a like backhanded like compliment yeah. trash that talk. That was so no. out of pocket. We're friends. You're not gonna win, but, but we're friends. <laughs> He's Our friendship. Starting the trash talk now. I can't. He's I'm like, done. really I not <laughs> I scoop <laughs> in. Three players. Turn zero <laughs> I'm excited for this particular gathering and this table that we got. Hey guys, back again. My name's Sean. I'm here to play some paper magic in the flesh with my friends, hoping to also destroy them. But they're my friends, so it's okay. Friendly fire. Yeah. So let's talk about pre-game rule zero conversation. No proxies in this deck this time. This is all 100% there. It was an upgraded pre-con that originally had Estrid at the lead, but now it has Tubasa the Sunlit, which Tubasa gets a plus one, plus one of each enchantment I control. Whenever you cast your first enchantment, spell each turn, draw a card, and then I have Primal Surge in here as my only spell. So if I were to get to a Primal Surge, which is a lot of mana, it's like 10 or something, I could just Impossible. dump my whole deck on the board and make hopefully stupid things happen. And that's what Tabasa does. So old school magic. Swing and hit people, but also get card advantage from things that trigger from enchantment. So a typical enchantress. Today, I will be playing a Bruna Battle Hammer. Whoa, 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 is this <laughs> Did you just clear your throat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, my God. His name is Bruna Battle Hammer. He, I just made a bunch of equipments. I had a bunch of them in my collection. Most of them are uncommon and pretty weak. I just slap them onto big old Bruner here and I just hit people in the face for a lot of damage in one swing, hopefully. Voltron-y <laughs> strategies. A little bit, yeah. 
I'm also playing a Boros deck. This is General Ferris Rokirich. He is a 3-1 human soldier, has Hexproof for monocolored, which is surprisingly more relevant than it initially sounds. The ability that I'm really here for, whenever I cast a multicolored spell, I create a 4-4 red and white golem artifact creature token. And so this kind of started out similar to Brunner, uh, where I just jammed all of the two-colored Boros cards that I owned from my collection into a deck, I played it a little bit, and was like, hey, I really like generating tokens just for playing the game. And so then I bought up a few more cards to make the deck a little better. It's still a little Boros aggro deck, but it's a lot of fun. And I dig it, and hopefully I'll make enough golems to wreck some faces. I am back today playing Hapatra, Vizier of Poisons. She is a 2-2 legendary human cleric. Whenever she deals combat damage to a player, I may put a minus one counter on to target creature. Whenever I put one or more minus one counters on any creature, I get to create a 1-1 green snake creature token with death touch, AKA attack Larry with it. I did plus one counters last time. Didn't really do a lot with those plus one counters, but I'm here to do negative one counters this time and see if that can uh, change my fortune in this game. I hate your death. Now enjoy the show. Let's roll to see who goes first. Three. Every Two. time. Larry gets that's, that's it. That's a five. Larry gets it with a five. Everyone is of the ready? I am the ready of. Yeah, do it. Ready. All right, untap. Upkeep, draw, shock, a sacred foundry, mountain plains, taps for both. I'll pay one and cast a soul ring. Mm. And I'll pass the turn. I'm going to draw one, play a fury, calm, snarl. I'm gonna reveal something to you guys because I like you. I do have a plains in my hand. So now you Appreciate know. Appreciate that. I'm gonna tap my fury, calm, snarl for one mana. I'm gonna play a neglected heirloom. It is a equipment artifact with equip one, and it said equipped creature gets plus one plus one. And when equipped creature transforms, I get to transform neglected heirloom. Now, none of my creatures transform. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's that kind of deck. All right. so be very neglected. I've yeah. never played this card before. Passing? Does it I do anything? Pass. We don't want it to do. I will draw for turn. Shock in a hollowed fountain. I'll tap it for a white. I'll be a bad person. I'll cast Authority of Councils. Oh, creatures your opponent's control under battlefield tapped. Whenever a creature enters battlefield mm. under opponent's control, I gain my life. <sighs> Mm. If that resolved, are you, are you humming because you're going to do something? No. He's gonna, I'm just okay. sad humming. <laughs> it is your turn. Take it away. All right, untap. Draw. I'm going to also play Snarl, but of the Necroblossom kind, revealing a forest. Because I think you guys are pretty cool too. Reveal, buddies. Pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap, upkeep. Go to draw you can step. Just keep revealing your hand to us. <clears throat> yeah, it, like any card you wanted it's to crazy. show us. All these cards seem to do that for some reason. I don't, I don't get it. Play a mountain, and then I'll pay four and cast a Thran Dynamo. And oh, pass right. the turn. Ooh. Collector's Ooh. edition. Yeah. Gold border Thran Dynamo. Let's see it's exactly crazy. how it's I roll. It's signed too, isn't that dope? I'll draw play a planes for the turn, the one that I just showed you guys. I'm also going to tap for two, and I'm gonna play a Lightning Graves. Now what Lightning Graves says, it is a two mana equipment, and it says equipped creature has haste and cannot be the target of spells or abilities. That includes mine. It has equipped zero. I will pass the turn. All right, untap, draw for turn. Ah, oh, bummer, 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 bummer. I will play a forest, and I will ship it. At the end of your turn, I'm going to tap my Snarl, and I'm going to cycle. A Baron Maw, drawing one card. Then I will untap, draw for my turn, play this forest. Tap for two. Dude, your deck is really kicking, and I like what it's doing. So much so, I'm also going to cast Lightning Greaves. <laughs> Greaves buddies! We're Snarl buddies, Jordan. Greaves buddies. And Jordan. then I'm gonna pass the turn. Air Jordan. Kick. I'll untap, upkeep, draw. Mistakes were made. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Take Holding, Maxi Shark? No. Mm -hmm. I should have played a different uh, turn two play instead of Thran Dynamo. Michael he just Witch? enters tapped. Oh, well, nothing on my end, but Michael. And then I gain a life. You do. I'm going to play Boros Garrison as my land for turn and bounce this mountain. Then I will pass the turn. There you go, P to T. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play an Evolving Wilds, which is an adventure for character levels one through four. I'm going to tap and sacrifice the Evolving Wilds to search my library for a basic land card, put onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. Uh, I will get a Montaigne, and then I'm going to tap two mana. A Dagger of the Worthy, which is a two mana equipment that says equipped creature gets plus two plus O oh, and has afflict one. Whenever it becomes blocked, defending player loses one life with equip two. I pass. 
I draw for turn. You guys are beginning to see what this deck does. <laughs> right, I'll play a forest for turn. I'll tap three, this will be a white. I'll cast Seder the Enchanter. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. Sad face that I don't have mana to cast my commander. Unfortunately, we'll have to pass. I will untap, draw for turn. Nice, fair magic. Fair magic. I'm gonna tap for two, I'll cast my commander, Hapatra. And there's taps. Gain Captain life. Sir, your trigger. 2-2, two, two, whenever she deals combat damage to a player, I may put a minus one counter onto target creature. Whenever I put one or more minus one counters on a creature, create a 1-1 one, one green snake creature token with death touch. If I deal damage, I get to put a minus one counter onto a creature. If I put like multiple minus one counters on something, she still only counts for like one snake that I would put. I will go to then equip, equip to, protect her. to protect her. Second main phase, then I will play a Woodland Chasm as my land for turn. And there's tapped. That is a Swamp and Forest. And I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Tap the Boros Garrison for Boros color and Thran Dynamo for five total. And I'll cast the enchantment, Assemble the Legion. At the beginning of my upkeep, I put a muster counter on Assemble the Legion. Assemble. Then I put a 1-1 one, one red and white soldier creature token with haste onto the battlefield for each muster counter on Assemble the Legion. It being a multicolored spell triggers General Ferris, and that will get me a 4-4 Boros colored construct into play. Tapped. Yeah. I gain a life. You do. Then I will play Mountain as my land for turn, and I'll pay four to cast Outpost Siege. As it enters the battlefield, choose cons or dragons. Cons, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. Till end of turn, you may play that card. Dragons, whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, Outpost Siege deals one damage to target creature or player. I will choose cons, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I will exile the top card of my library. I may play that card until end of turn, so that applies to lands. Then I'm gonna declare battle and attack Michael for three damages. I will take three damages from your commander. Mm -hmm. The Blade of the Legion. I pass the turn. I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw a card. He so wishes he was the Blade of the Legion. He's the general. He's a general. You know, Blade of no Legion. Play Mountain for the turn. I'm gonna tap four. I'm gonna play my commander, Bruner Battlehammer. Enter's tapped. Five, three <laughs> for four. It says each creature I, I control gets plus two plus oh for each equipment attached to it, and then I can pay zero rather than pay the equip cost of the first equip ability I activate each turn. Bruner Battlehammer enters the battlefield tapped. I will pay zero to equip the Dagger of the Worthy to Bruner Battlehammer. He gets plus two plus O oh and afflict one, and then he also gets a secondary plus two plus O oh for his ability. So he is currently a nine three afflict one. No, I'm not going to attach the boots just yet because then I wouldn't be able to attach anything else to it. That sounds like a greedy gamble. Yeah, I pass. All right, so I untap. You just have to keep that dagger in neglect. Drop the turn. I'm gonna tap three. <laughs> it's the best day of his life. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cast Overgrowth. Whenever Enchanted Land is tapped for a mana, add another two green. So I'll enchant the Hollowed Fountain. Right, it taps for the colors Whatever that it can't I choose, tap for. And then two, two and green. You draw a card. And then this triggers, you draw I card. draw a card. You draw on cast or on the. You cast. Oh, cast. that would have been a cast. Yeah, a cast trigger. I did not draw what I was hoping to draw, so I will play a Seaside Citadel tapped which can tap for my all my colors now. Your four fours are tapped, right? Yeah, right. everybody's creatures are I'm tapped. I'm gonna hit you for two, since okay. you hit me. I will take two. Two damages. A just attack. And then I pass, that's it. And tap, draw. Eye for an eye. Ferris Rocket is a three one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, really? Blade of the but Legion. But he's <sighs> proof. I see the artwork. <clears throat> he's very short. Oh, oh, yeah, he's very short next to the people he's next to. But those are the, his golems that swore yeah, for his golems. golems are ready for battle. Mm, this is out to all of my short kings out there. You'll be like General Ferris Rockrick over here. Stay strong, king. Just I'm gonna go to combat. Work You're hard, you combat. can make four four golems. I'm gonna swing on you, Larry, for two. Buddy, I'll take We're two. We're friends, I just have to hit you for two. And then I'm gonna put a minus one counter Don't on do me. that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> yeah, it'll be two commander, but don't put it on my don't don't kill my commander right now. You don't want you don't Counters. want that smoke, dude. The smoke yeah. of killing your commander? There's I mean, listen, I know you're gonna untap with a lot of stuff. And I know I will it. commit all of my resources to killing you dead if you kill my commander right now. I promise you. <clears throat> Every single possible thing I can do, I will 
perpetrate upon your green black deck. All okay of that could have been said with, I do know your home address. <laughs> <laughs> this is, th these are things I've heard before. Okay, how it's, about this, bro? I'm your ride home, we're in Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Uh, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you know what, man? Uh, there's not much I can say about that uh, since we're gonna go that route. Okay, uh, I will attack you for two. I will put a minus one counter onto the thing that draws you cards at the moment. Minus one. Right? Onto you, yeah, onto your Seder Enchanter. Aww. It's just one minus one counter. That'll trigger Hopatra, that'll make me a snake. You'll gain a life, one of ETBs, and there's tapped. Sneaky, sneaky, snake. It is quite sneaky. I think I'm gonna do this though. I'm gonna tap for three. I'm gonna cast a tapped Amit Eternal. It is a 5-5 five, five zombie crocodile demon, which is pretty dope, with afflict three, afflict buddies, hey. snarl buddies. And greaves buddies. That says, whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a minus one counter onto Amit Eternal. When Amit Eternal deals combat damage to a player, remove all minus one counters from it. It triggers whenever you guys cast a spell, I will put a minus one counter on it. It doesn't enter the battlefield with minus one counter? It does not. Okay. I will then pass the turn after that, missing a land drop. Not killing general. Well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, probably smart when you're missing land drops. Hoping to get a ride home. <laughs> I was gonna say probably smart when you need a ride home. Untap, upkeep, outpost siege trigger. It is a Gonjo, Seat of the Empire. Hmm. Okay, then I'll draw for turn. This is currently exiled under outposts. I may play it. Hastily went to draw step, but also at my upkeep, I get a muster counter on Assemble the Legion. If you had a yellow dice, could you call it a mustard counter? Colonel Ferris Mustard. So you gain a life from my 1-1 one, one hasty gain, soldier coming you cast to play a spell? tapped. No, I, no have it's ex I have done upkeep triggers so far. Now I'll go to draw step. I'll play Igonjo. Is this untapped? No, No, that entered the battlefield just now. It has the, haste, but the you know, thanks authority. Pay four, leave one floating, cast a solemn simulacrum. Triggering Amit Eternal. That will put a minus one counter on Amit Eternal, which triggers Hapatra, making me a 1-1 one, one snake. That will enter tapped, triggering Authority of Councils. So with that one mana floating from here, plus four more, I'll cast Balefire Liege. That is a Boros colored card. It is a 2-4 Spirit Warrior. It says, other red creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other white creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever you play a red spell, Balefire Liege deals three damage to target player. Whenever you play a white spell, you gain three life. When I cast it, it triggers General Ferris, making me another 4-4 four, four Golem. I'll gain the life or trigger. Construct. I will trigger, that will trigger Ahmed Eternal. You will get another negative, negative one counter, and I will make another snake. You will gain another life. Then I will declare the battle. I will hit you for five, Michael, with General Ferris. He is a three one with plus one plus one and plus one plus one for each of his colors. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So now I cannot kill General Ferris. Pass the turn. I'm gonna untap. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to tap three to play Angelic Armaments. I'm gonna go with armaments. It is a three mana equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two plus two, has flying, and is a white angel in addition to its other colors and types. That will I... trigger my Ahmed Eternal. Sure. I will put a minus one counter onto him, make a snake, you will gain a life. I will pay zero due to Bruner Battlehammer's ability and equip it. So now he's a 13 5 afflict one flying dwarf warrior angel. Flying? He is flying because it, yeah. And then I'm going to tap one and I'm going to play a utility knife. And when it enters, I'm going to attach it to Mr. Battlehammer. So it gets an additional plus one, plus one. So now he is a 16, six. You have enough to cast it and equip it? It comes in attached. It's a one mana equipment. When it enters the battlefield, I attach it to target creature I control and it says equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. So I attach it to Mr. Battlehammer. Okay. Um, that will trigger also my Ahmed Eternal. It has four minus one counters on it now. I will make another snake and you will get another life. So I do want to attack, but I don't want to make enemies but Mike is gaining a lot of life. But I'll pass for now. Wow, you could totally wreck someone with commander damage. 
check. But the That's clap 16. back from anybody would the be real. Exactly. So it is. So you're it, passing. You're staying. I'm your passing <clears throat> as a 16-6 affliction. Shrewd one. decision. Same I kind of made by not killing Rock Rick and now. So yeah, I also need to ride home from Mike. So. <laughs> <laughs> I understand your pain. I mean, we're we're in this we're together in a lot we of are, ways. You like, know what I mean? I would have given you a ride home either way, but Long Beach is far to be salty over. <laughs> It is a long ride home. <laughs> it would have been a very a silent. long, quiet ride home. Yeah, I'm very. Yeah. Did you really have to do it? The radio turned up really high. <laughs> Just looking out the window the whole time. I will play Mosswort Bridge, Trigger Hideaway. Look at the top four cards. So I'll put this one face down, under there. These go at the bottom of my library. I think the bridge enters tapped. Tap all of it. Tap it all. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm gonna cast Bear Umbra onto Ooh. Sorry the Channer. Cast trigger. Okay. I will draw a card. I will trigger Ahmed Eternal. Does it have to attack? For or his connect? final time. Attack. We'll get a minus one counter, go to the graveyard, but I will then create a snake. I will like go to combat. Mm -hmm. I brain, will right swing there. at you for three on the attack trigger. I will untap, untap lands. my lands. At moi. I'm attacking you since you're open. Yep, I am open for biz. I have no blocks. So Three sure. damage. Okay. It's plus two plus two and it's one one currently. So now I have access to seven mana. Time to get sunlit or what? I'm gonna tap <laughs> ball seven. One, Rest two, three, four. I will first cast Wilderness Reclamation. At the beginning of your end step, untap all lands you control. There you Trigger and cast. I'll draw a card. Oobly. What do you need I play this mana for, for my turn. Mm -hmm. I will then use the last three to cast Ever Watching Threshold. Whenever an opponent attacks you or plans work in control with one or more creatures, draw a card. Cast trigger. Card. I'll draw a card. Wow. Out of mana and out of ideas. And I will pass the turn. At the beginning of your end step, untap. One of my turn, my three yeah, measly sure manas. Maybe shouldn't have cycled old Baron Moore, but here we are. We're here now. Tap for three. Cast an Ashnod's Altar. Mm. Ooh, sacking ability, getting mana. I'm going to go to combat then. Are you open? No, you've got blockers. You've got this is a six this six currently. Mess of a board. Well, it's a four four that's getting plus one plus one for each of its colors, and it is a red and white golem artifact creature token. Lynch, I'm gonna have to poke in at you for two. You're the only one open for the biz at the moment. I take two. I ever watching threshold would trigger because you attack me with a creature, so I draw a card. Okay. Two commandy damage that will trigger Hapatra. I I'll will put, put you under the forest. I mean, you could do my thing. It's not gonna do much, but I know. Well, I don't want the crack back from old Bruno. <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna hurt me. He's flying. He's a big boy. I just I'd like to imagine that he's holding a dagger and a big shield with wings, and he has a utility knife in his back pocket. Yeah, my God, he's got so many things. He's fitted, dude. Yeah, he's dripping. This air we'll share a lot of things. We're gonna share a minus one counter for now too. I'll put it on uh, Bruner. Sure. Just to try to mitigate this ridiculousness. So it's a 15 5. That sounds so stupid. <laughs> 15 yeah, 5. Not like it does much for me. I will make a snake that will enter the battle tapped. I have a trigger. Okay, life. I will then sack that snake to my Ashnod's altar for two colorless mana. I will then use that mana to cast a Talisman of Brazilians. Could say brilliance, but no. I'm going to sack two to get four colorless mana. Use three of it and cast a tapped serrated basquillon. It is a 2-2 two -two artifact creature. You can tap it to put a minus one counter on it and a minus one counter on target creature. That's a fun little piece of tech. Serrated basquillon is French. That will trigger authority of council. I will yeah. respond to basquillon. I'm just gonna cycle secluded step, draw a card. Oui, oui. I will then pass the turn after okay. that. Missing another okay. land draft. You've been cursed with lands on this show. <sighs> Untap, upkeep, it's assemble the mustard, go to Extra mustard, two. please. I put two hasty duders into play, trigger that twice. Then outpost siege will trigger. It is arcbound shikari. Then I will draw for turn. I'm gonna pay four and yeah. cast Bell Borka, Spectral Sergeant. Note the converted mana cost of each card as it's put into exile. Bell Borka, Spectral Sergeant's power is equal to the greatest number noted for it this turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. That is going to make me another golem. So I get late for him entering. 
And for the golem and entry. The golem. Then I have one remaining colorless mana from my Thran Dynamo. Bellfire Bale trigger. Bellfire trigger, one for each color. So All you gain three life and deal three damage? I gain three life and deal three damage to Is it anything? Target, target, player. target player. I will target Sean with the three damage. One, two, three. I was so worried about my, my battle but okay. He is a 15-5, but I'll pay two. pay two and yeah. cast Arcbound Shikari. Deal another three damage to Sean. I gain three oh, life. Okay. You are really Arcbound this. Shikari enter or on cast. I make another golem. So I gain another two life. And then when he enters the battlefield, I put a plus one plus one counter on each other artifact creature I control. Are any of your creatures flying? No. I'll play a new Benalia as my land for turn. Does that do anything? <sighs> oh jeez. No, it just scries. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What happened? Are you okay, Larry? Do you want to talk about it? No. Okay. No, we don't need to talk. Are you gonna kill me next turn? Uh, I'm thinking about it. Why wouldn't he? It might be the only it. time he can. Yeah. Well, you fire. know what? If you're gonna hit me, I, I'm. I mean, uh, I might not, depending on <laughs> what you're gonna do. Seven, 14, 14 and five, 19, 19 and three. 22 and 2, 25. And don't have anywhere near enough to kill you. Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> How are you so upset with such a huge board? I'm gonna declare battle. A battle on the battle hammer. I'll keep Solemn back to block. I'm going to attack Lynch with General Ferris, and I'll attack Lynch with General Ferris and Balefire Liege and the 3 3 soldier. So 10 at total Lynch. damage at Lynch, and I'm gonna attack you, sir, two seven cents. Before damage, whenever one or more attack you, that would trigger. Yeah, that so I'm gonna attack trigger. Would drop yeah, this, attack trigger on this the time. ever watchful threshold. Okay. Arcbound Shikari, huh? Wherever, whenever, huh? I take 10. You take five more commander damage, 10 total. I take 14. You don't wanna, no, you don't wanna block. Why would you block? I pass the turn after that. I'm gonna untap. Take my mana, hold it up. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna play Zephyr Boots for one. So it's a one mana equipment. Equipped creature has flying. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, I draw a card, then discard a card. I will equip it for zero to Mr. Battlehammer. So he is a 17 5. I Mr. Will Battlehammer. I'll tap three. Uh, oh, wait. Fuck! What? Do I have enough? Need back back I need to take this back. Okay. I did it it's before and I got greedy and fuck. Can I hold on? Sweet, sweet Chipotle. Yeah, what do you say? The sweet taste Chipotle. of greed. <laughs> I'll have another go. spicy puree, Barky. All right. So now, now, now <laughs> while your while it's burning, nice. you gotta do your, your your take back. Respect, my man. <laughs> Pay zero. Equip this. You already replayed that one? No, this was out since turn one. It's been okay. neglected for quite some time. It's Almost been neglected. Forgotten, what are you doing with say. the other one? I don't play the other one. I take the other one back. Oh, it's full time. I take Zephyr, yes. I, he is a... Gather yourself. 18, six. Okay. Then I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna play Quick Draw Dagger. Has flash, enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature, I control, and it gains first strike until end of turn. It's gonna get plus one, plus one, so I attach it to Mr. Battlehammer. So he is a 21 7. Oh my lord. I move to combat, I attack Larry for 21 commander damage in the air. Literally, like, pull out a switchblade knife with that quick dagger. <laughs> Give me all your money. Okay, so I think that's lethal. Oh god, it's hitting my stomach. Um, do you have responses? I have no responses, I pass. Yeah, do you have responses, Sean? I have no res... Uh, I don't think I have a response. Do you have any responses? At least you get a ride home. No. <laughs> you do get a ride <laughs> home <laughs> safe. Yeah. You're, you're, still, you're still getting a ride home. See, That's we're watching each deal. other's backs, man. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm going over here. So are, is that happening? I'd, killing you with I one? cannot block his enormous uh, freight train flyer. Oof. His, his, uh, his uh, the battle hammer. He's at the battle hammer. It's a 21 I think he, it was like Thor, he went for the head this time. Yeah. Swinging that hammer. Yeah, that's he, why I didn't attack last time, because I was afraid of the backlash and I knew it would have. I guess that's it. Yeah, I, I get deleted. Good game. Second Ouch. main, I will tap one and play the Zephyr Boots, and I will equip, yeah, I'll equip Lightning Greaves. So now it can't be 
target a spells or abilities, so I can't equip it anymore, but you guys can't target it anymore. So it's a 21-7 flying, afflict one. And you're passing? Yeah. 21-7 okay. with the minus one counter? Oh. Uh, with the minus one. And I'm drawing for turn. I'm gonna play a land, island, play an island. I'm going to tap the Mossport Bridge for one and cast a Soul Ring. Larry, it was nothing personal. You just... Dude, I'm not mad. Okay. I'm gonna tap a Soul Ring for two. I'm gonna tap this for white and two green. So okay. one, two, three, four, five. I will cast Mirari's Wake. No. On the cast trigger, I will draw a card to responses to Mirari's Wake. <sighs> no. My mana is doubled. Yes, I mean, I if you guys work together, you could probably kill me. I'm sorry for both of you, but this is <laughs> gonna be two white. Three, four. Oh my God, he's gonna board white. Five, six. Winds of Wrath, destroy all creatures that aren't enchanted. This one's enchanted. They can't be regenerated. <laughs> and look, this came with the precon. This is the, the precon symbol. Mm. Do you have any response okay. responses to Winds of Wrath? Okay, destroy all creatures that are not enchanted, which does not include my... Are there any, like, uh, death triggers or anything I need to no. worry about on the, on the battlefield? I don't think so. No. no. Uh, the neglected oh, air yeah. I will go to attack. I will just go ahead and hit you since you're at the highest life total besides me. So this is currently one, two, three, four. So I'm hitting you for four. Okay, no blocks. Take four. Oh, on the attack trigger though, um, all my lands untap. So now I'm gonna do some things. I'm gonna tap this for two white, and this I think just taps for the, just gets the other two, so that'll be four. I will cast Sage's Reverie. Sage's Reverie. It'll enchant, sorry, the enchanter. But on the caster, I will draw a card. It says when it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each aura you control attached to it. So I was doing the cast trigger first. Oh, I see, I and see. And I okay. have two auras, so now that it does ETB, I will draw two cards. Two more cards. Anything that's like really scary right now. Not, not at this moment. No. <laughs> you are the okay. scary thing. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will tap for two white, two green, two blue. And this will tap for two green. So I will go ahead and first cast, whenever you cast the first enchantment spell, each turn draw a card. So that won't trigger because I've you already, already cast done one. stuff. I'll two bosses in play. I'll also cast Castilla the Cultivator as a legendary enchantment creature. Since it's an enchantment trigger, draw a card. Whenever an enchanted creature you control or an enchantment creature you control attacks, draw a card. Mm -hmm. I had one floating still because I had, I floated eight mana. She costs three, she costs four. So I'll tap this for two, and then I'll cast Enchanter's Presence. On the cast trigger, I'll draw a card. I'm curious why you didn't do it the other way around. Because I drew this. Oh, I see, okay. Off of this, yep. I didn't have this in hand. I totally get that. I think that is my turn. I think I resolved everything. So now I go to my end step, and I will untap my lands. That's the most powerful feeling. Oh yeah, I'll pass my turn and untap my lands. <laughs> Ugh, gosh. All right. Is it your I'll untap, untap my tap? Three oh, lands. Is mine too. Draw a card. It is not a land. This is the fuck so, around and find out. You gotta wait. You wait long enough with this deck. Dude, when I top decked this, I was like, oh my god. Oh, you top decked that this turn? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, bastard. So what's this guy's so what power for going after the Boros deck? Um, six. Two bosses and nine nine. Bruner, dude, we got to do something about this. I got one thing, but you don't want to do anything to make me mad because I have, have something that will destroy this. I have, you're also my right hope. So, David, you can do bad things all you this? want to be. Uh, the card that I had in my hand doesn't do what I thought it did. That's yeah. always dun, a fun dun, dun. thing. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Oh. You can pass. Uh, <laughs> since that's the case, I will probably just end up dying, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to pay two. I will cast a Channeler Initiate. I gain a life? You gain a life. And what is it? And there's do? tapped. It is a Mana Dork that deals with minus one counters. When the Channeler Initiate, it's a 3-4. When it enters the battlefield, I can put three minus one counters on target creature I control. You can, so you don't have to? Yeah, I don't have to, um, but I'm gonna put it onto her because she has a thing that says whenever I remove, I can tap her to remove a minus one counter from it and add one mana of any color to my okay. mana pool. So I'll put the three minus one counters on her, yep. which makes it an, a zero one at the okay. moment. Just pass the turn. You have devoted right. Druid in that deck, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, I have so that So Larry combo. passes to you. <laughs> I do. 
It's official. Draw. It's official, we're still part of this. You can trash talk all you want. I'm gonna tap four. And I'm gonna play Banishment. So when Banishment enters the battlefield, I'm gonna exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls and all other non-land permanents my opponents control with the same name as that permanent until Banishment leaves the battlefield. Non-land permanent? It, yeah, non-land permanent. Uh. I don't know what would be the worst thing to do because this is doubling his mana. This is gonna kill us. Very big. This if I get rid of this, then so I also dumb. get rid of these two and a draw engine. Yep. Which it might so be the best play. That seems like the best play. I'm gonna banishment your Satyr enchantment. And the too. whole thing doesn't go under, just that one, they all fall off? This gets exiled. Yeah, Those under two banishment. Those fall go off. to your graveyard. Okay, are you um, passing now? Yes. You have nothing else to do? That was oh. good, man. I'll plus plus if the two fell off. <laughs> My Gen Z ears know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I will draw for turn. I'm a little lost in that one. I just giving you kudos for a good play. Getting, yeah. I will play I mean, a planes. I sound like first world problems All right, to me. So I'll be forest for two, the soul ring. I'm gonna cast Vow of Wilderness on mm. Tuvasa, which says enchanted creature gets plus three plus three, has trample, can attack me or planes bar card control. On the cast trigger, I will draw a card from the Enchantress Presence. And the cast trigger of my first enchantment, I'll draw a card from Tuvasa. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. So I have twelve floating mana. Plus the one that you had already. Omniscience. <laughs> draw a card. Um, omniscience trigger, draw a card. Is that you or everyone? It's just you, right? Yeah, it's just, just me. Just him. We um, wish it was everyone. I'll do Smothering Tide. Draw uh, a card. Draw a card. <laughs> I will cast Jukai Naturalist. Chama spells are one last, lifelink. It's an enchantment. Trigger, draw a card. I will play Privileged Position. Other permanents you control can't be the target of spells or abilities. Your opponents control. Trigger, I will draw one. Well, Might as well yeah, do yeah, the yeah. Mosswar Bridge now. I'll do the Mosswar Bridge now. Corrupted so Conscience gets cast, uh, gives a creature in effect and trigger, I draw a card. Oh. I will then cast yeah, the one, Urban nice. Utopia, which is add one mana of any color. Trigger, I draw. So if you I just think keep you draw... one shot Sean I can or one -shot... David right now. Yeah, I'll enchant another land. And when it enters the battlefield, put plus one on the target creature you control. This has infect. Doesn't matter how big it is. Correct. That's why and, if and I, can, I think, I, but if I can get some more auras, I can get this big and I might be able to then kill both of us. The two of us? Yeah. yeah. And then I'll, I'll cast Stony oh, Silence. I will activated abilities of artifacts. Artifacts <laughs> can't be act yeah, activated abilities of artifacts can't be activated. Uh, trigger, I will draw for turn. We'll then play Detention Sphere. I'll Detention Sphere this, so that I'll get my, then I can cast hey. Hannah, but she's not a enchantment, so no triggers. I will go to combat. You have no more enchantment. We're heading into combat. Oh, we're heading into combat. We're heading into combat. So I will send Tuvasa at you or for lethal infect. Lethal I mean, infect, and, many times and I'll send five at you, but then I'm gonna have a trigger. Whenever an enchanted creature or enchantment creature you control attacks, draw a card. So does that so mean draw I draw cards. two cards? Yeah. I'm gonna just try one thing. I have no blocks. Yep. Prior to damage, I'm gonna sack this dude for two mana. Yes. To the uh, Ashnod's altar to cycle stinging shot. To draw another card. To draw a card. That is not the answer. I take damage. No fog. I so, have. So you're dead. I have been killed by Phyrexia. And you took your four? I took my five, five yes. Long live okay. Phyrexia. So now I go to second main. I luckily drew into something. I will play the exploration. Trigger. You draw right, two. So draw two cards. Then I'll play the Island of Blossoms whenever it enters Spotify. Draw a card cards off there. And I'll draw two. Three. So I got three. So three total. One, two, Three. Yeah, well, I'll just go. I'll, I'll play another creature. Silent Sentinel flying. Whenever Silent Sentinel attacks me, return uh, oh, and it enchantment. Attacks. Yeah. Or, yeah, to the graveyard. It's fine. It's still. Yeah. And I, this is with omniscience because it says you may cast spells from your hand without paying a mana cost. There's a secret is... way to win this game if you draw your deck and then go to draw one more time. <laughs> well, here, I'm gonna. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's a well, secret no, then, backdoor. Then way. what I can do is I can then cast Primal Surge. <laughs> For 10. There it is. Exile the top card of your library. If it's a permanent card, you may put that in the battlefield. Repeat the process. So I'll go ahead and do what this deck does. I'll you're going to deck yourself. Yeah, you're going to deck yourself. I can lose. just choose to stop. Yeah. Primal Surge is May. 
I don't feel that if you do. I could just keep process. going. Yeah, you mean, could just keep going. Or resolve you can a primal game. surge. Is right, there usually we go. Stu- I'll, st- I'll yeah, stop. Yeah. I'll stop on the spectral nice. ward. Kudos for for getting the, the primal last surge. one right there. I'll put the spectral ward on there. This will trigger three times, so I'll just draw the three right there. Look at this dude's board state. He just wants to keep going. Do you pass? <laughs> yeah, I want to keep going too. I know. All right, so then hold on. Go, go ahead. Now, I'll, hold, now I, will, I will let the primal, res- that'll be my weakest uh, primal surge, but I'll pass. Just I mean, you got to so have expro- big expropriate in there, right? That's why well, I, gotta... I took that one out. I play a planes okay. for the turn and I pass. All right, I'll just untap and then just swing at you. How about that? That is awesome. I would appreciate that. Thank you. For saying that. <laughs> I would appreciate that, please. Like, should I take a shot for winning? Yes. <laughs> you know I'll take a hot shot for winning. Here we go. And since for, that is your third shot, you do lose. Um, it was a. Cl- it was a <laughs> classic. <laughs> this is the winning yeah, one. Yeah. Go ahead. It was like it a looked- classic enchantress gets out of control. Nobody can do anything. The only person that really could maybe do anything about it was probably Larry or you. And you guys decided to kind of kill, well, you decided to kill Larry, which I still thought was pretty hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, that was just, a totally valid play. I had lethal yeah. on anybody if I, agree. I untapped. I think you right, were the, you the threat at that time. I mean, he had lethal on anybody if he untapped, and I kind of elected to just, I couldn't kill you, so I did what I could and hit Lynch a little bit with my commander. And You did, you hit me with 13. Yeah. In true fashion to you, since you said winners take a shot, I will take a shot for you. So does that mean Respect. I have Larry's crown? Or do you have it? You he killed me, crown. but he won the game. I miss we're red, all, black we're all winners center. in this circle. We're man. all kings. Especially my short kings out there. Well, I appreciate you guys for- <laughs> Short kings! I appreciate you guys for coming on the show today. You're always invited back. This is great, I love it. I love playing Magic with my friends here. I love playing with Larry all the time. And, and coming on here is a special treat. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Man, thanks yeah. for coming on the show. This, this was good times, too. Yeah, this it was always great. Is. I always I love playing Paper Magic with my friends. Do you now? <laughs> And I love watching like, until I hate playing with you and I goop. <laughs> I love watching I Paper Magic with my friends. Anyway. Omniscience yeah. into I'm just gonna keep drawing. Omniscience. If I could kill you, but I just want to keep drawing. That's what's stupid is that I was like, oh, I, I just I mean, to do if, it. If I'm honest, that deck's chill, dude. Well, yeah, I mean, Enchantress off. builds are great because they can be basic and yeah. and just go out of control. The only ramp I have, I think, is Soul Ring. It's hard well, to, it's not, to um, remove. The enchanted lands. Honestly, mm-hmm. authority of councils, and I was talking about this with some of the guys in our group. That made a big difference. It is a low key, really strong. Yeah, I thought it really put working because I was able to gain all that life, even though you were hitting me with your commander damage. That was the only thing yeah. I could relevantly hit you with. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Gaining you life. When you were like, doing everything yeah. else with all the other hits, I'm like, oh, he's just gonna kill me with commander damage. It disrupts so much of everybody's plan yeah. of everything that's going on that it just it it puts you ahead, and especially on turn one, yeah. that makes it even. That makes it even stronger. Yeah. Like, it, it yeah, messes that, that up. I always love getting that out. But I was like, because I was screwed a mana first. You saw, like, it took me a while to get all three of my colors. Like, I had the hollowed. Yeah, uh, that, that's that definitely that, helped things happened. in the early oh, game for you, and it made his commander come in tapped, his commander come in all tapped, those tokens. all my tokens, yeah, all my yeah. snakes came in tapped. You I know. was like, man, I thought I was doing some stuff. Yeah, it really it really changed things up. I'm at Eternal may have not been the smartest thing, but I needed to get a board state going, and I knew coming around, uh, you know, paying three mana and getting six snakes yeah. or five snakes for that seems like a good deal. It just it never amounted to much. I, yeah. I kept missing land drops, so it's just unfortunate. Well, and we'll I, have your to get decks it again. are really camera shy, dude. They've That's been camera yeah, shy we'll, today. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. bring you back and we'll get some non-camera oh, shy yeah. moments from you, especially with Larry. Yeah. talks about how amazing. You did. You have to help shut him down though, which has been. Good for me. I'm telling you, the the Halar deck that we saw earlier um, wrecked absolute face last night. Yeah. Like at one point, I think he trigger, triggered it for 17 after yeah. hitting me for like lethal commander damage on the second hit. It was, it was pretty cool. It was pretty uh, sweet. Yeah. Colonial yeah. Hydra. We'll, we'll have to invite you back to to see some of that madness. Until then, next time when I hate your deck or how I met your deck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care. Cut. If you want to support I hate your deck please consider joining our Patreon. It's an excellent community that we have built with people from around the world where we play magic in our Discord using Spelltable. If you haven't had a chance to play online magic yet, try out our Discord. It's a great community where people are gaming daily. And every Thursdays we have Commander Day where people play all day and night, but the community's gotten so big, Commander Day is almost every day at I Hate Your Deck. Uncle Sky's popular demand sweet potato chipotle hot sauce. Wholesome ingredients, unique flavor, and just the right amount of spice. (laughs) 
I Hate Your Deck would like to thank our sponsor, No Pulp Media. It's where we're shooting right now, and it's where a lot of people come to record music or do podcasts. So if you're looking to do that, check out No Pulp Media here in Long Beach. Hey, it's time for the Patreon shoutouts. I'd like to thank David Williford, Chris Flakes95, and the Mr. Marcus. Thanks, guys. If you want a shout out, you need to be a tier four or tier five patron where we give shout outs. Now, we love all of our patrons, but it's just one of the perks of being a tier four or tier five patron. Without you patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today and we wouldn't be able to keep making content. So thank you so much for helping us make this show a reality. And we're really excited to keep bringing you great content for the years to come. I can't wait to be able to bring my son on the channel once he gets old enough, let me tell you. I hate your deck. Los Angeles is the sunny home of we the wizards of the West Coast. And the guests we fuck with on this epic show. I hate your deck. Guitar solo. Competition is toe to toe. From Cash's Mars to fucking Post Malone. The best commanders and the lowest blows. I, I hate, hate your death. death. We're on a roll. <laughs> black, black, wow! So attack, play your cards, and say go. Be you white, blue, black, red, green, or gold. It's a counter spell? What's the deal, bro? I, I hate, hate your death. death. Now enjoy the show. your deck join the i hate your deck patreon exclusive discord to get the various benefits and be able to play commander daily with people from around the world in our global community